welcome back ladies and gentlemen boys and girls goblins and ghouls of all ages to the on the slab horror show the horror show that we bring you every single friday night why do we bring in a friday night buzz because friday night's horror night baby exactly damn, damn straight it is and we've got the full crew here today including tombstone ted and myself both of us uh, well me in particular uh, i am still alive so uh, I am back here, especially in the lead up here to Halloween month. But uh, we've got a really good show for all of y'all today. Because as you can see behind Ted and Carl, we are going to be doing the fantastic 2022 release of Prey, the brand new Predator film. The first, I suppose, Predator film. Technically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, technically. Uh um lads i'm really looking forward to this one today first and foremost it's great to have the full crew here today thanks for all the boys especially uh greg and carl and ted and my absence leading the way and fucking killing it as always and uh if you are listening to us for the first time make sure before you do anything else you smash the like and subscribe button you leave your comments in the comment section and let us know what you think of the show if you have any suggestions anything at all whether you hate us doesn't matter we're able for it let us know mm. but on with the show as they say so lads and um, this is one uh, i in particular have been looking forward to for a while and yeah. um, greg really was the one that uh set my expectations for this movie because i think he had probably seen it before any of us i uh, think he you did didn't you to watch it to be fair yeah, I, I watched i watched it uh release day at like 10 o'clock in the morning i watched it that afternoon i think wasn't it, it was yeah. something like that yeah because so. I, I, I thought when it was coming out i was like grand i'm gonna stay up at 12 o'clock it'll drop on disney i'll watch it and go to bed no that didn't, didn't happen, happen. Yeah, I I just, obviously I, I didn't i didn't dawn on me that the american time zone would uh would kill me and it didn't yeah, come I... out until seven or eight I did the same as you, stayed up, and then it didn't come out, and I was like, right, I'm going to bed because I've worked tomorrow now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was um, amazing. Like, I, having seen so many bad entries in this franchise, um, to, to see one like this, especially the way it came out as well, there wasn't a big major, oh, this is happening. Yeah. It was about three or four months out, uh, Hulu dropped, oh, we're doing this, and it's being done by Dan Trachenberg, who... By the way, shout the, out to first. Dan Trachtenberg because that was like he he got the whole essence and vibe of Predator in one, didn't he? It was absolutely phenomenal. Oh, the, like this this came out then, and like Dan Trachtenberg, I think had done the first two episodes of The Boys and a few others around the place. Yeah, but um, so he's like, a good eye for car. To, <laughs> to, to yeah. move into this, this was just immense. Like from the settings. And we've seen, like, it went, Predator 1 was brilliant in 87 in the jungle. It's probably one of them near-perfect movies to go to Predator 2 in L.A. And it was awful. I liked it. Like, I, I liked it growing up, but I only rewatched it not so long ago, and it's fucking terrible. <laughs> I, did, oh, I, did it's terrible. I did. I did tell you. It only ages like, well it, to a certain clientele, and that's probably me and Carol. No, but yeah, like, I think, it, I think it, they... it doesn't. It doesn't make like it doesn't make any sense. He's just killing for the sake of killing. Doesn't have to yeah. make sense. He could have been a. See, the thing about that is, Greg. I mean, there's different types of yaucha as they call them, and all this kind of there's a, there's a shitload of maybe the, the backstory wasn't that you know fleshed out back then when the film yeah, came maybe. out. But if you look at it with that in that context, this could have been a. I think they called them bad blood predators where they they, they go rogue. No, go and see. Yeah. But then again, at the same time, at the end of that one, don't they all come and collect his body? So, yeah, yeah. you know, the I, one, I can, I can the understand one. what you're saying where there's no real... Isn't it, kind of a, isn't it kind of horses for courses as well, though? Because I, I read some reviews, and I know some people as well, who, blasphemy, by the way, um, but, but didn't necessarily think that the original Predator aged well in the sense that it, they thought it was just a bit of a cheese fest, which Whoa. I'm not happy with. But, when friend them I mean, people... We, we we are all obviously from a certain age group where that was you know we either grew up as it came out or we grew up with uncles and family who absolutely idolized the film or whatever 
so it's kind of it's ingrained in our uh, in our DNA. But, but I suppose for like younger younger folk watching prey, I can kind of see why they probably would look at this and because of the narrative told and like there's no cheese in it per se. Because let's be honest, there's lots of cheese in the original, but that's why we but, love it. You know what I, I mean? Yeah, but, but I, I can see the point that they're making that it, it is a cheese. It's like any any film is to an extent gonna be cheesy, course, no matter yeah. what you get. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're gonna get the one liners, yeah. but it's one of them movies that you've no idea what's going on for an hour. But there is and a then, great narrative the more you're watching it, isn't it? Because obviously it's... Oh, yeah. You know, it builds yeah. in and it, the tension and, and everything you can see. It's done very similar to the way that Texas Chainsaw was, where you can yes. see it's fucking hot yes. and the tension's building. Yeah. Uh, and everything's starting Carl's to go wrong. Word. Carl's word. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, and but, I, 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 can agree. I, I can see where people do come from in the idea that the original Predator is very cheesy and very... It's very 80s. Like, there's no other way to describe it, right? Yeah. You wanted to do an action film in the 80s. You oh, had awesome. big, beefy men. And, like, that, like... Big guns. Big, big guns, big, beefy men, and a lot of, like, one-liners and jokes. And film and things like that have progressed since then. So story does matter more. And I'm not saying, like... That's not to say there isn't a good story told in the original Predator, but I would say that the story in Prey is probably better written. More flesh still. I, I would agree a, with you on that. It's a better written story, um, so it it flows a lot better. Whereas the original one, you know, you were going in and you know you went in with the idea of right, I'm going to go in, going to watch a load of big muscly men fight something in the in the jungle, and we'll see where it goes from there. And that that's. That's just cinema evolving, and pe- people need to forget about like, oh, that that film doesn't hold up anymore. It still holds up. It's just that's not what new like new younger viewers exactly. think of when they go to the yeah. cinema. And when they watch something twenty years from now, they'll think Prey is amazing, right? Yeah. And the, the people twenty years on from now, thirty, forty years on from now, will be like, yeah, the story in Prey is not great. Exactly. This is what's great now, and that's you know. That's where it's going to go. Like as Ian said, we grew up with, you know, um, family or friends or whatever who were into this, these kind of eighties things, mm. and therefore we were. Yeah, absolutely. It's that simple. Hundred percent. Um, getting on to prey though. Um, first, first thing I'll say is, I'm a massive fan of like just the whole everything about Native America and Native Americans. I love their kind of. They remind me a lot of the like the. North American version of the Celts in a lot of ways, you know. Yeah. I mean? Um, and I love their kind of lore and stuff like that. And I just thought all of the actors in this, in particular, were absolutely outstanding. Um, absolutely. You know, especially the main girl. She was absolutely she was fantastic. Brilliant. Greg, you were a hundred percent right. Um, it, it made sense. It wasn't like she was just this big badass warrior girl. It was her actually trying to prove herself to her brother. I thought the brother was absolutely fantastic was, as well. Yeah. What um, I liked about Amber, that Amber, was Amber Midthunder done was the the actress who played the the lead role, and then Dakota Beavers was the brother who was who stole the show for me. Yeah, for me, so. definitely. And and the thing about it was, I suppose, Carol. It was it's it's a diff, it's a throwback, isn't it? Because realistically, as much as like we grew up in the in the world of you know pro wrestling and Arnold Schwarzenegger and mm. Sly Stallone and like things that weren't realistic for everyone to look like those guys, you know what I mean? Yeah. But these just look like normal people. Uh, normal yeah, Native exactly. Americans, you know, and, and I think that's why a lot of people can probably resonate with this yeah. particular movie. You know? What I liked about what the, the 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 dynamic I liked and it was the fact that she was actually trying to prove herself as a hunter, not necessarily yes. a warrior. And I thought yes. that aspect of it was cool. So she went and hunted the predator. She didn't want the like it wasn't case she was fighting him, she was trying to hunt him. Yeah. You know? Which I thought was cool. Um yeah. and I thought the design of the predator was actually very cool as well. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's that's a big shout out to if you're on Instagram, folks. Uh, Mike makes monsters mm. is the guy who designed. The mask. Yeah. It's yeah. Well, I think he designed the, the the whole thing, uh, along yeah. with others. Yeah, but I think like the main body of the predator is kind of yeah. it's already pre-established yeah. from the original. Yeah. Predator, you know, but the, the idea to have a a bone mask 
Oh, that was great. Uh, was and instead of phenomenal. having, instead of having, you know, like uh, a laser beam and things like that, it, they have a, a laser sight, mm. but not a, like not a like not the beam plasma that, like, kind those, of... Yeah, like not the plasma cannon. It's just a beam, and it's like, right, that's where my um, arrows are going to go. Do you know what I mean? I thought that was very. That was brilliant. Very good. And yeah. as you said, Kim. Um, you know, as hunting evolved through the human species, you know, it used to be send out the big guys and they'll take down the animal by brute force. Yeah. And then people, someone obviously came along and was like, why are you guys doing so much work? Like, we can literally just tie a rope on the ground here. The animal will go stand in it and then it'll be strung up and we can kill it. And that's what she is. She's the she's the one trying to say to them, you guys are putting in more effort than you need to. You mm. can be smarter about this. And they're all, you know, they're all like, no, we're in, we stick to the old ways. We we kill things by taking it down, you know? And that's the way things always happen. And especially back in those you know, days. These new, new ideas of like, oh, you're just making life easy for yourself. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, all right, we're going to kill that lion. I find a fucking easy way to do it. I'm not going one-on-one -on -one with a lion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's a, actually, Ted, on that, um, now obviously, you know spoiler alert if you're watching this and you haven't seen the movie i don't know what you're doing watching this before <laughs> you've watched the movie but if you haven't watched the movie turn us off right now watch the movie and then come back from right yeah. from right, right where you left us let's talk about favorite scenes in it and it just came to me there that scene with the bear was one of my oh. favorite scenes in the whole movie like just to show you i suppose the uh because greg anyone that knows me and greg we, we we big Sasquatch fans. <laughs> Greg happens to Absolutely. be one. I'm not. <laughs> Greg's. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but I think what was great about this was because it was like that old age old thing. We always hear people say, "Oh, if a Sasquatch fought a bear, you know, this predator is like a real life fucking alien Sasquatch, and it shows just how easily he destroys this bear. Like it's." He did, but the bear gave it a good go at the start, though. The bear battered him. Well, he start, did, yeah. he did, but I mean, no, but maybe not easily destroyed it. But I suppose it, 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 using his, uh, his, uh, I suppose his, his intelligence. Word? Yes, using yeah. shown that this being isn't just someone that's here to kind of, you know, slaughterlessly slay. It's, yeah. He's using, he's using his hunting expertise, his, his, uh, his gifts from another planet but i just thought that particular scene was unbelievable any any other scene stand out carl what, what do you i just want to i would just want to commend you on making up your own word there by saying slaughterlessly i think that's brilliant <laughs> do you like that one i do yeah it's a kind that now um, slaughterlessly. <laughs> i thought when uh, my sorry. new song is going to be called slaughters easily slaughterlessly <laughs> uh, i mean like where do you where do you it'll be a love song by the way sorry <laughs> I mean, yeah, my favorite scene was probably the bear scene. Now, the CG was not great on the bear, but the whole acting, like, I mean, the oh. whole set, set, like, that area, that part, part of the film was really cool. And like you, like, like you said, the way it just tore apart the bear in the end, you know, um, the and even went above its head. Yeah, oh, that, that's the, that that's the best part of that scene. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, like, I, I like yeah, the the whole thing was brilliant. Like, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I love I love the bit where she came, where she comes flying out of the woods, and now she's in the tall grass, mm. and you see the predator coming after, her and it's just moving. Lost World Jurassic Park when the raptors are chasing yeah. them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like just seeing her come, and then you see the brother pull him, pull her down. And you're like, yeah, and then you're like, yeah, this is that, that's a real throwback to the original one, really, when they're looking, Back. and they're yeah. like, he's he's over there. In those trees. I see it, you. That's Jeez. true, actually. Yeah. Um, even even that little picture that um, you know, both pictures that Ted has in the background and that Carol has in the background, the cinematography and the use of landscape yeah. was yeah. actually beautiful. Do you know what I mean? It was yeah. the scenery within the movie were fan it was fantastic. It was like you were playing. Red Dead Redemption, but with a predator yeah. fucking running around. You know what I mean? It was, it was actually just really visually outstanding, I thought. Yeah. 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 One of the other scenes I thought was very good is the uh, is the scene with the wolf. Um, yeah. And, and not, just the, not, ju not just the kill scene of it, but the build-up, you know? And it, it, this shows because obviously when the predator comes in Predator, he's already, they've already been here since, you know, 
before, which we didn't know then, but we know now. But in this one, he comes down, he kills a snake. Easy. Kills a rabbit. Easy. Then he sees something hunting the rabbit, and he goes, right, well, that hunts the rabbit, and what I'm looking for here is the dominant species on this planet. Yeah. So that's hunting that. Kill that. And, uh, like, as it jumps and it just, you know, slices the belly and then the the wolf lands. And you're just like, oh, what happened here? And then it just disintegrates onto the ground. And yeah. I like that it progresses from there because we see the bear hunting uh, a human and she's hiding from it. So, obviously, instead of going for her, he goes for the, bear. for the bear. And then, you know, he sees other humans hunting humans with um, the French guys. I think... I, I, I think it's French anyway. Yeah, it's yeah, early, 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 early white settlers. Yeah, yeah, and they come in and they're the hunting the, the natives. So that's now the next thing, you know. You know, and it progresses, you know, because he doesn't. He's not going to know what the dominant species is, so he just goes, and he doesn't naturally assume it's the biggest thing. He goes for a snake first because he sees the snake kill something. Mm. He goes right, maybe that's the. Na- it doesn't need he's to figuring be figuring it out like. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. need to be big to be dominant. Progress. I think that's, yeah. I think that's a part of their. I suppose you could say their DNA is they don't kill defenseless things, if yes. you get me. You know? Yeah. It's always been that way. And again, with a more primitive predator in this one, you know? So, to uh, me, this predator was better than the you know, other predator, the way, the way it moves, yeah. Yeah. the way it hunts. This one was more raw and. Because it's, it's not as, was, it's not as yeah. reliant on um, technology. technology, yeah, which is the yeah. big. Like, and I love that because obviously humans weren't so technologically involved in this one. So why should the predator have been? Yeah. yeah. Now I'd love to see one of these go against the xenomorph. Now you know, rather than the the predators in AVP and AVP two. So nothing wrong with them predators. The, the films are shit. Oh, I'd love to see this this feral predator go up against a xenomorph. Yeah, yeah, I, that would be pretty I, interesting. I, I do like yeah. the concept of going back. Um, I think Ian said it earlier, in like going back to these native times where it's more like the Celts and stuff. Um, I don't know about you guys, but you know, films with guns and stuff, yeah, they're fun, they can be, but when you see someone and they're using a bow and arrow and a tomahawk and like yeah. handheld oh, weapons, there's just something melee better. is always better. It's just something better about a battle scene like that you know like even a bow and arrow it might not be melee but you know there's more skill than just picking something up and just pointing it and i'm not saying you know shooting the guns that easy like well if they don't if they done an irish but... celtic version teddy it'd be just a lot of irish lads standing there naked with their pitchforks and their battle paint on and the predator would have went yeah. what the fuck am i dealing with here yeah but you know what i mean like even when you look back at like you know war films are great but the battle scenes in like a war film tend not to be great but then the battle scenes in something like uh or the Braveheart or, Ga- or Braveheart or Game of Thrones where mm. it's melee combat yep. that just always seems better it just seems it's more, more skillful yeah, translates better to screen it does yeah because you know shooting a gun is just shooting a gun yeah, yeah it's like when it's, you see it's not, some of those it's not old samurai movie. movies you know what I mean yes yeah, exactly like the, the samurai goes and like ju- just the skill involved I mean you know the segue we're all big Cobra Kai fans here you yeah. know even, even the scene in the new Cobra Kai where like you know your man, they're both one's fighting with that da- with daggers and one's fighting with a samurai sword. You're like, wow, that's actually really cool. It was it was, nin- I mean? it was Ninja Turtles all over again. <laughs> oh, but even versus the, Raphael, baby. Even the hand to hand combat as well. Do you know, like just yeah. it, the raw like physicality of it, rather than just a load of lads standing across yeah. from each other, just. Well, I'll tell you what, lads. As you as you're talking about hand to hand combat, how good was the battle scene between the brother and the predator? Brilliant. Yeah. It stole hit, that he, was the he, scene of the movie I thought, I thought he that hit, was hitting him with the arrows and stuff and he's going back and picking it up and going again oh, it, was, it, was just it was amazing I, I got tired watching it <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that's I think that's the brother's first movie really wow. it's, it's his yeah. first big one anyway No, I, I think that's his first lead role like. I don't know. Um, yeah um, well, I also think her really her with the tomahawk when she puts it on the rope. Oh, on the rope. I think brilliant. that's that's another great scene. Like it's, you can it's see not it, important. The cogs torn and... Sorry, not yeah. that it's not important. That's unfair to say because it is very important to film as it goes along. But when you first see it, it's just you know, it's her inventing. Right. Well, why would I run after the tomahawk again? Like thinking ahead of herself. Yeah. I think that, and that really leads to you know you can't beat a predator by brute force. You have to outsmart it. I think yeah. 
Yeah. There's some great yeah. laughs in it as well, though. You know the scene where your man's missing his leg, pretending to be dead, and the predators look, can't see him. He walks on him. <laughs> yeah. And he pops I, I up remember, and like, oh, you, you poor bastard. That like, in that instance, you're like, oh, you can't help but flinch. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was so poor bastard. <laughs> so now what I thought was a great aspect of the film as well. Um, I know they talk in English in the film, but it's actually meant to be uh, yeah, their own language. We can hear it because we're meant yeah. to be, you know, yeah, that we're meant to be able to understand them. Yeah, which I yeah. thought was very good. And I mean, like the great thing, and the great thing about that is, what um, what what are they called? Uh, Native like Indians, whatever, Native American. Uh, but you can actually get. The, the audio with the that language, yeah, yes. the Comanche, yeah. So, yeah, Comanche, yeah. If you saw so Wish, I thought that that was very, very cool, you know. So, like, apparently, apparently, the first screening they had, they put it out in subtitles with that language as a test screen. I would actually like to see it like that as well. Actually, that's that might I'd say, I'd say it will come out in the DVD when yeah. it comes out. Yeah, well, look, you can watch it, you can do it, you can do the sentence on um, on Disney, yeah. Disney. On so, Disney, and then my next, oh. I'm gonna watch it again, and we're gonna watch it like that. This time. Yeah, me too. Me too. My my big thing would be which was it recorded in, because that's it always was recorded the big... in English. See, so said for me, it should. That's that's the way I look at it. it. Should be watched in English. Whereas, you know, say I'm watching um like Battle Royale or something, right? Hmm. What a big movie! If, if someone <laughs> brings out if someone brings out Battle Royale and they've done an English daub on it, no, sorry, I don't want to watch it with the English version. Because that's not the voice of the characters, and it yeah. never really syncs up for me. It never does. Yeah, because it's the same as uh, the way you the pronounce a word. Is Netflix, different. Ted. Squid Games. Squid, Squid Games. Games. Yeah, again, I, I watched Squid Games. I didn't realize because when I first clicked it, it put it into English, and I was like, his lips don't line up because obviously <sighs> the way you pronounce your words, it's yeah, a yeah, different I, 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 movements. I was like, I'm, I can't watch this, and then I was like, oh, you can actually just turn it back to the proper language. The proper language. Like, the imagine grand. watching. Imagine watching. Um, Oh, imagine watching the Grudge or something, the original one, like the Japanese yeah. ones. Or, it just you doesn't know, work. In, in, you, in, I, it, I've done that. Been, no, but I mean, if it was your first time I'm seeing it, it oh, would have been like, no, no, you know what I mean? It's not going to be, it's not going to be as good. But I think look, in terms of, uh, in terms of that, sorry, Ian, but I yeah. think in terms of that thing, I mean, the fact that like, I would recommend watching it first in English and then if oh, you're yeah. going to rewatch it. Yeah. That's the way, because it's be something different, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do agree. Like, though, Cal, I like, like the uh, idea yeah. that I do like the idea that we can understand them because yeah. we're meant to be part of the tribe in an essence of like Chingus. The way it's filmed that was a very smart uh, move by them. Yeah, like it, it, as we said, it's like it's like watching the Japanese ones or Apocalypse. That was another one that was done in. Yes. that was done in um, Aztec. Or whatever. It's one of those Asian yeah. languages. And when you watch it in English, it just doesn't do it yeah. any justice. So, like, so as I said, maybe watching this in Comanche mightn't be the best. Not for your force watch. In, but, no. But, um, no, this this was, like, the Predator franchise was struggling badly and has oh, been yeah. for years. Predators, I always hated it. I was seeing it in the cinema and I didn't like it. Uh, having gone back to rewatch it, it was probably the second best one. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that bad. Uh, most of them until, have been okay. This. Most of them have been okay if you go back oh, and watch them again, the, especially the, the predator. Oh. The predator was terrible. Oh, the that. predator. Sorry, yeah, no, yeah. that wasn't great. No, the no. predator and predator two were the two worst of, of the yeah. the solos. AVP yeah. and AVP two were dog Adrian show Brody too. was great in it as a like a team. Great Adrian was, Brody played a, a, yeah. a great role. The key was good. But, it was I mean, the wrong cast, though. He's always going to be a good fucking, you know, front man, front, you know, lead man. But mm. yeah, it was the it was narrow the was weak. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, I didn't. No, I didn't mind Predators with him in it. Like it, it was a different take. Obviously, going over to their world was mm. was different. Um, the casting wasn't great. Like no, the casting uh, as much was the as problem. I, yeah, I like Danny Trejo was in it, and you're like, why? He's in it for about five minutes, which is in everything. Yeah. Um, like, what, like Walter Goggins was in it, which was a, a really strange one. I th I liked Walter Goggins in it, to be honest. Yeah. No, I did, but like you're never gonna cast him in like I know sometimes they work, but that was such a random casting. I think Topher Grace wasn't off. I mean, he's just off. Oh, so bad. He was so so bad. Yeah, 
awful. He's not believable in anything. No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just, if, they, if, they, if he made a film about his life, I still wouldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, there was one. It's called That 70s Show. It's a TV show. <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, no, but like the Predator, the, the franchise was struggling like really badly. Yeah. And then this has, this has definitely brought it back. And if all the reports are to be believed, there's two more to come. One is going to ancient Japan. Which will be fucking awesome. Yeah. I just mentioned the and, Samurais. That would be pretty yeah. fucking impressive. And then the other one is set to go back and show the Aztec. Um, you remember in AVP 1? Yeah. The show that they came to the Aztecs. That's going to be the first one, apparently. Brilliant. If all is to be, if all is to be believed. Well, here's hoping. And, but, and, and, and there's mean, people asking for a pirate ship, and you're like, why? you got to go on a pirate ship and kill them in two minutes. No, well, if, here, anything, thing, if anything, I would like to see something maybe Egyptian or something. You know what I mean? No. no, no. Uh, the, <sighs> the, the, the Japanese one's got to be phenomenal. If the it's Japanese will one will be, be deadly. The, the pirate thing is all because people are so obsessed with the, the gun. The gun, and you yeah. know, that in in a lore, it's be, it came from a pirate ship, which to me, like, the gun is now held by, you know, Native Americans. Okay? Pirates could just easily steal that and then another predator kills them and takes the gun. Like, that's easily explained away in my head. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. need, as, as Grace, I don't need them on a pirate ship. Like, how are the pirates going to best them? Half of them don't have legs and half of <laughs> them don't have eyes and half of them don't have hands. So, like... Plus, he's got a spaceship, so he could just yeah. literally blast <laughs> them. But between them all, they make this one big mega pirate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to share body it ain't parts Jack to make Sparrow, one I don't full know. Yeah, they need yeah. to share body parts to make one full human. Like, good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, no, the, the thoughts of it going to ancient Japan and taking on a samurai. Absolutely. Is... I'm all yeah. over that. Up in the... the mountains as well, up in the hills, man. Oh, that's, yeah. That's proper, yeah. Proper. The Japan, the Japan Ma- one appeals Mount more Fiji. to me than Aztec, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, me too. I think Aztec is more just going to be just to do going it, back yeah. to the very beginning. Yeah, now, I think so. I don't know what they can do with it, but I think that's how they're going to get re back to Alien vs. I'd like um, them to redo Alien vs. Predator and pretend those I'd two like other see, ones yeah. didn't exist. Yeah. Like, they never they never happened that. and redo them. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, they were good fun to watch when they came out, but they're dog shite. Yeah, they're so more same, same, same as Ready vs. Jason. It was dog shite, but it was fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. On paper, it should have worked really well. It's kind of it's kind of yeah. like that pay per view that you stay up to watch, but you kind of know the outcome, but you fucking pay for it anyway. <laughs> no, so the, the and prop, then you're the, like, shit. The, the problem we've done that a few the, times, haven't we? Yeah, we've done that. The, the the problem with things like Alien versus Predator and stuff is that two different people own the rights to Alien and Predator, and yeah. neither of them want their character to come out the loser. Well, and th- not like anymore. That, no, no, but that that was the issue. That's that's what yeah. the issue was that nobody wanted to come out looking like the weak one, um, yeah. and th- like that's why as he, like Ian referred to it as like a wrestling thing. If you have one company owned by one person and another company owned by another, they're not going to like they're not going to go yeah my you can beat my world champion because that doesn't make our product look shit. Do you know what I mean? That that's what that that's what happened there. They need to be owned by the same person if you know. And now it's moving now, closer to that. Yeah, they're now both in the Disney. Um, umbrella, the Disney umbrella. So now they could actually make a good one because Disney could go. Aliens can win the first time. Predators can win the second time. Do you know, there just need to be this. Oh, yeah. oh, we're not having our thing look weak. Do you know what? Do you know what you'd love to see? Actually, so you have the alien, obviously the xenomorph being as powerful as it is. What about those wolf predators though? That were in yeah. Predators. Yeah, they were fucking animal. Badass. Badass. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's like get. We, to, we, yeah. I know. I know. I know. We waited a little bit to do this as well. We didn't want to ruin it for people as well. <laughs> and if, yeah. if you're wondering why it took so long to come out, um, we like giving people a chance, and we don't want to be like, oh, this is a spoiler, and someone doesn't see it, and then they come on and like, well, those four dickheads ruined the movie for me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But um, like everyone has this, a choice to hit out. the play button. This has been out for a while now, so um, it is what it is. I said, yeah. just throw that in there, just. Hundred percent. Well, look. Let's get down to the uh, to the meat and the bones of it. No pun intended. Um, what are we giving with this, Ted? We'll we'll start with you. Many slabs of meat are you gonna give this bad boy? Yeah. So 
in the group chat I discussed this beforehand uh, a while ago that I'm in a toss up whether this is better than the original Predator because I'm 50 50 on whether I have recency bias on this and then that there's a nostalgia to the original Predator. I actually don't know which one's better. And if you ask me to rate the original Predator, I'd give it five. And because I'm so tied on these, there's no way I can't give this five as well. Because other, if I gave it anything less than that, that'd be saying that the original is definitely better than this. And I'm still not convinced that the original is better at the moment. That's a fair comment. Interesting. Interesting. I, I'll actually follow up on that purely because I watched this one with the missus and she had never seen the original Predator. So we actually... Oh, I'm so jealous. We went in straight away afterwards and said, right, you're watching this. Um, and for me, it was just like, I'm of the same thought as Ted. <clears throat> I look at these as separate, completely separate, so I don't really want to compare the two. Um, but I mean, as an Origins film of type, this, <clears throat> this was every bit, you know, the perfect, perfect uh, Origins movie. It was something that only Greg had built up for me so which was good and usually when Greg or, or Carl or Ted builds up something for me I'm like right you guys know my taste so you'll know whether I like something or not you know what I mean so I was like okay I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to this now so yeah for me it's five as well has to be a five you know if I could give a five and a half there was an extra slab of meat I'd throw the extra bit on it because I, I just thought this was perfect Ian Meltzer over here look at him Ian Meltzer <laughs> 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 I, will follow, I will follow that up there and I'll also give it a 5 I'll give it 5 slabs because I loved I loved everything about it the cinematography the, the use of colour you know uh, the look of the Predator as well I, I love that uh, you know that feral that, uh, you know uh, ancient Predator look because uh, like I said I, I, I've, I've read up a lot about Predators and the alpha predator and all that kind of stuff so this really resonated well with me and and again yeah everything about it was just fantastic so yeah I, as while i don't think it's as good as the first one it's literally just literally been out below it like you know you say me like like there type thing you know so mm. it's one of the best films i've seen in a long time anyway put it that way yeah definitely well as uh, as there's a few of us here that are part of uh, Retro Time Recast, we keep a 2022 list of everything that we've seen that has been released this year, and we try and rank them as well as we did them. I have this at number five in the list out of 40 I think I've seen this year. This was phenomenal. I loved every minute of it. Um, there is a couple others that are in front of it, and it just it, it wasn't good enough to get by them for me. But uh, in terms of a new film this was this was brilliant and it's getting a five from me too excellent awesome hmm. awesome well look that is five all across the board that is literally 20 slabs of meat and a half if you include my little half that's just the pale <laughs> end i don't like the fat of the meat you so just, yeah you. you didn't cut the gristle off it so you just keep the gristle on i like to cook it with the fat i just don't like to eat it um but no absolutely phenomenal movie great great fucking um you know for story one of the origin stories yeah yeah absolutely phenomenal so um, i would 100 percent recommend it guys and girls let us know what you think down in the comment section do you agree with us do you disagree with us let us know on twitter let us know on instagram we're at on the slab horror on all of those platforms including um facebook as well and um, we're ots horror at gmail if you want to get in touch with us as well um and uh, don't be strangers but until next time guys stay scared and don't <laughs> look under the bed I've been your host today ian kelly on the slab horror show over and out